Hey, welcome back to Moo Moo Math. We're going to work on simplifying binomials that contain i and multiplying those together. And then we're going to look at one example of dividing. So let's start here at number 16. We've got 3i times 6 plus 5i. So we have a monomial times a binomial. This one is just a distributing problem. We're just going to distribute the 3i in. So 3i times 6 is 18i plus 3i times 5i is 15i squared. Well, we know we can't leave i to any other exponent except 1, so I'm going to replace i squared with the value negative 1, because that's what i squared is equal to. So I have 18 plus 15 times negative 1. Now, let's multiply that together. That gives me a negative 15 plus 18i. And you always want to write this in the a plus b i form, where you have the real part followed by the imaginary part, so there is your answer. Okay, let's try one where we're doing a binomial times a binomial. This is just like foiling, like an x plus 2 times an x plus 3. So we're just going to foil. We're going to do first, so 10 times 7 is 70, outer, negative 40 i, inner, 2i times 7 is positive 14i. And then last, I have positive 2i times negative 4i. That gives me negative 8i squared. Okay, now let's try to simplify that. Well, we can combine the two imaginary parts. So negative 40 plus 14, that's going to give us, what, 26. So that's going to be 70 minus 26i and then minus 8i squared. Well, we know i squared is equal to negative 1, so I'm now going to replace i squared with a negative 1. So I have um, negative 8 times negative 1, so that becomes a positive 8. So I have 70 minus 26i plus 8. Now I need to get it in the correct form. I can still now combine the 70 and the 8, so that becomes positive 78 minus 26i, and it is in the a plus b i form, and so I am finished. Okay, and there are some more examples on here if you need to, to work on those. Let's try one with division. Okay, division is a little trickier. Okay, if you've got a 4 plus i over a 5i, we cannot leave the i in the denominator because remember, i is really just the square root of negative 1 and just radical. So we're going to have to multiply it by another negative i. When we have a monomial, the easiest thing to do is just multiply by either i or negative i, the opposite sign of what you see. So I'm going to multiply the top by i or negative i. So when I multiply the bottom or the denominator, I'm going to get um, five, negative 5i squared. Well, we know that i squared is equal to negative 1, so I'm going to replace i squared with negative 1, so I'm ending up with a positive 5 in my denominator. Now in the numerator, in the top, I've got to distribute this negative i into both terms. So I'm going to get negative i times 4 is negative 4i, and negative i times positive i is negative i squared. Now I have an i squared, so I have to replace it with what? Negative 1. Okay, so I've got negative 4i minus a negative 1 all over 5. Okay, we're very close. We just have to clean this up and put it in the a plus bi form. This double negative becomes a positive, so I now have a positive 1 minus 4i all over 5. So there's my answer. A lot of teachers want you to split this into two fractions, so you can write it as 1 fifth minus 4i fifths and there would be your answer. Okay, let's try one more where you have to simplify. Let's just do another one that's similar to this and I'll have to do some conjugates later. Okay, here's one with a 4i in the denominator. So let's multiply this by negative i over negative i. Okay, this time I'm gonna do the top first, so the numerator. So negative i times five is negative five i. Negative i times positive two i is negative two i squared. Denominator would be negative i times 4i, negative 4i squared. Okay, replacing the i squareds with negative 1s, I'm going to get negative 5i minus 2 times negative 1 all over negative 4 times negative 1. Okay, 
up top. On the top I have a double negative, so that becomes a positive, and I need to write it in the correct form. So I'll get 2 minus 5i all over. Negative times a negative is a positive 4. And then if we split this into two fractions, I'm going to have 2 fourths, which reduces to 1 half, minus 5i fourths, and that one won't reduce. And there is your answer. Hope this video was helping, helpful on multiplying and dividing with i in binomials and monomials.